I I'm going to be sewing another Donny shirt for myself today because I wear that other Donny shirt a lot. I'm not wearing it today because it's so cold down here. I'm cold, my lips are cold, my hands are cold. Um, but I'm going to turn this sheet into a Donny shirt. So I got it from Vinnie's. So Vinnie's is like an op shop, which is um, like a thrift store maybe where you're from. This is, I think it's a single bed sheet. I just loved the color. I think I will wear this one lots. So stay with me and um, we'll make this one together. Hi, it's day two and it's another cold day. Um, sun shining, but it's cold outside. So I'm inside at the moment and I have done kind of my first step for the um, pattern. I will show you. I have ironed the pocket. I have put the lining on the first collar piece and then re-marked all the notches. I have, what else have I done? I have folded back the first part on the, oh, what's this, the back yoke for later on. I mean, while I've got the iron out, I try to do everything. And oh, over here, I have done the front facings. I've put the lining on, um, the interfacing on, and I have gone back and marked the notches. And when I'm not marked the notches and then put the circles back on, because I learned from doing the first time, the notches and the circles actually mean something rather than pretty decoration. <laughs> so um, I've gone back and I've marked them with a, um, a color. But then I've just popped the pin in, so just to like a big hello, there's a dot coming up. Um, so I'm, I didn't really pay much attention to this the first time I made the pattern. So notches are basically later on for when you're lining up garment, you not line it up notch to notch. And the circles are for um, a sewing guide. So you sew to the circle sort of thing. So I've done the two, yeah, uh, what are they? What are these called, the front yokes? I've done the collar, interfacing, the pocket, and the back yoke. And I think that is all I need at the iron so far. I might change the thread over on the sewing machine and go play with the bird. I don't know if you heard the bird in the background. But that's pretty much at the moment of what I've got. Before I begin sewing, I need to set my seam allowance. And I have this handy little gadget to easily work it out. So we look it up and we want three eighths, which is, if I look at it the correct way, it's here. So I need to put it in the slot for the three eighths of an inch. Which one is it? All right, so that's three eighths of an inch. So that means this is my seam allowance for three eighths of an inch. So nothing ever really lines up with it. I don't know what all these gadgets, little digits are. They don't make any sense to me whatsoever, so I'm just going to use some tape just to line that up. I mean, six eighths, four eighths. It just doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. And then what I'm just going to do is just just run the scissors along here, so then we can press it down. And that is my seam allowance for the pattern piece. And I can just take this, take this up. And it's gone. So it's really handy, that little sewing guide. I find that so easy. And I actually took off my walking foot. And now I just need to sew my, oh, what am I doing first? I'm doing my neck piece. No, the collar. Oh my gosh, the neck piece. Yeah, whatever. So I'm just going to sew that and we can get started with this. just sewed the pocket on and this is my second top with a second wonky pocket I don't know how but there's one dot and there's the other dot but when I lined it up the pocket was like this so I think it's me 
not um, forwarding a straight line, but I think that looks okay as it is. And then I'll just go and erase that little itty bitty dot there. And I actually used an erasable pen. So let's see if it comes off. Are you gonna come off? Come on. Is it coming off? Hey, look. Hey. What dot? I, oh, well, if you look really closely, you can see a dot. But the time I'm not looking at it and I go look back. What dot? We're on to day three now. Um, I only do a little bit at a time. I have sewn on the collar. I joined the back yoke on. Um, I'm just about to do the front facing. Um, just about to touch it down and do all sorts of stuff. I realized I probably should iron this bit, but I've kind of already started dinner and I put a towel down on the kitchen <laughs> bench and um, I can't do that right now. So I'll just press and pin and hope it works out. And I'm a lot more confident with this one than I was with my um, first one. I think that's because, you know, you've already done it once and it's not as daunting. In fact, you know, like, maybe that's why they get you to do muslims because, you know, you're not scared of the pattern anymore. I mean, not scared of the pattern, just, just you know, not as daunting and you're not willing to jump ahead and do steps that you haven't done. But I'm thinking it's looking okay. I think I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. But yes. Nope actually got short sleeves on today it's actually warmer because it rained overnight so that means that there was cloud cover so there's not the ice and cold that we've had which means it's warmer in the kitchen so which means that when I'm sitting here sewing I'm warmer all right that's looking pretty good actually I might start pinning pinning not bad for five dollars this fabric I'm thinking at the end I will also show you how much fabric I used um, from the single bed sheet so that way you get an idea of what you know how much is used and whether you should give it a shot as well I might pin this way because I'm not sure which way I'm going to be sewing it all right well this is kind of boring so I'll just keep pinning and then I'll sew I finished it it's so much easier the second time around. Uh, but, tell me, what do you think? Now, question. The other one I thought was too nannerish because of the colours. And I put this one on and I went, oh, is this grandpa-ish? I mean, I know they're not real words, but I think it's because, you know, you, all this time you're looking at fabric close up and you think... Oh, he just had doubts. So it's really comfortable. I really like it. But you have to, um, I'll put a clip of me wearing it afterwards, but you have to tell me if it looks okay. Because I just get these major self doubts. So anyway, I got it, got the pocket on. So I, I didn't want to match the stripes. I wanted it to look like there was a pocket. I wanted to break a color. I wanted the stripes on the back yoke to go sideways to break it up as well, which I think worked well. And then I was like, oh, how am I going to do the collar? But in the end, I just cut the collar. <laughs> I just tried to use what I had for the collar. Um, but that is what it looks like. The hem, once again, perfect length. Um, let me show you how much fabric I've got left over from the sheet. So let me just round that up. Hang on a second. Okay, so it was a single bed sheet. I've got like lots of little scraps. Um, there's not enough from a single bed sheet for a plus size to make a dress, but if you wanted to make, uh, I mean, a pea plum top from it, maybe, or a tunic, but there's like this much left. So that's a single bed sheet, um, making a, um, you know, like a twin bed, um, making a plus size. So, of course, if you're smaller, 
you would have more fabric left over but um, it's not quite wide enough to do anything um, but it's got a nice big decent scrap there I'm sure I will find a use for that now if it was a single bed doona cover so you've got two lots of fabric then sure you would I would have got a dress out of it um, because yeah I'm thinking a dress so this is a I'm thinking a dress so I'm thinking I've now I've got to cut a double bed um, sheet and I don't think there's going to be enough left for a proper lengthly lengthly a dress the length that I like to wear because one you're going to be going cutting the bodice shorter because you know, you're having a you know you're wearing it as dress so you want to have it the bodice shorter so you can have the dress but I don't think there'll be enough but maybe I've none two out of vintage sheets maybe it's time I actually splurged on some nice fabric to um to make and this one was actually cotton so when I ironed it I didn't have a problem so this is like a nice way to cotton so comfortable on but yeah I'm just doubting it doesn't look too grandpa-ish <laughs> I don't know I'm just paranoid about these things um all right so yes I love it I have to make another one I might actually go and buy the fabric for and I might actually buy excess um, to make a dress so what I'll do is I'll take the pattern um, requirements yardage for the, the, the size and then I might um, measure out how long I need for a dress and then I will um, do a dress um, so yes uh, stay tuned and I'll show you the video my daughter took of me wearing it and um, yeah, please let me know if it looks okay and give me a thumbs up and maybe a subscribe all right see ya